I never really thought you could have a career shooting surfing. It amazes me that, that you know, I can get a phone call and, and be able to be on a plane in a couple of days and call at work and, and be able to be in the ocean for a living. That's like, it's the biggest gift. At a really young age, I grew up um, riding a surfboard and bodyboarding. And I was always going on the beach and surfing with my friends and a friend of ours had a camera with a water housing and a fisheye lens and we would all just take turns using it. That was probably the start of it. I had a couple friends that were going to school in Santa Barbara and I went and visited them. And, um, I toured the school with them, it was a photography school. I was like, God, this place is really cool and I, I really enjoy photography. So I took courses on lighting and portraits and fashion and ended up getting a degree in commercial advertising. And so when I finished school, the first thing I did is I went on a surf trip and I went down to Mexico for about two months with a friend and we would surf and when the, the light was good, we'd shoot stills. And when I came back from the trip, I sent a few of the photos into a surf magazine and they ended up writing a few of them. Later that year, I, I won a photo contest. That kind of kick-started, I guess, my career in the surf world. It's really important for any photographer to be passionate about what they're shooting. And I think it's really important for a photographer to have an opinion. And I think in order to gain an opinion, you need to understand what it is that, that you're creating and what it is that you're capturing. I guess if you look at a lot of the images that I've made, I've, I've always tried to make like one image that is a strong image and something that someone can really appreciate. And it doesn't always have to be the most technical maneuver. Sometimes someone just doing a bottom turn or doing a high line is just as beautiful as someone doing a 720 in the air. And my goal has always been to make a photo that you can show to a surfer and have them appreciate it and show it to a photographer that knows nothing about surfing, but still appreciate the image for the image itself. That's the greatest success as a photographer is to make something that's either so like awe-inspiring that makes people want to do that or people can relate to and, and can, can enjoy for themselves. The first thing I look for in good surf photography is, is good lighting. Typically, I try and do the majority of my shooting in the first hour of the day and the last hour of the day. That's when the light's the most dynamic. The last like couple of years, I've been really into shooting everything backlit. I think that it takes the surfer's face out of the image and it shows more of their shape and design than it is who it is and what board shorts they're wearing or what stickers they have on their board. Commercially, it's probably not the best choice, but as far as evoking a feeling or making someone want to get up and go travel, I think those images are a little bit stronger. I think that's with all photography, is that if you can capture good light, um, you know, the images will show that. So about two years ago, I was at home and I got a call from Taylor Steele and he's like, hey man, he's like, I really want to make a new surf movie. I'm like, well, let's do one because we've done a couple in the past together. I'm like, I've always wanted to make a surf book. I'm like, why don't you make a movie and I'll make a book and we'll do it together. And so we started meeting in a coffee shop just down the street and just come up with different ideas, come up with different places we wanted to go, kind of like our wish list of people that we wanted to be in the film. The project's called Proximity and it's a story of four groups of surfers, but with each group, there's a bit of an age gap. And so, for example, like the first trip we did, we did with Shane Dorian and Albie Lair. And Shane's about 20 years older than Albie, but they're both really into surfing big waves. They're both phenomenal at what they do. And so we thought it'd be great to put them in places where they can feel comfortable, but also uh, push themselves both in the water and then, you know, socially uh, outside of the water. So we did about eight months of prep. And then the first shoot we did was last October. Um, and since then, we've done four other shoots. and. It's been a great project. I'm currently in the process of designing the book. Taylor is in post-production, going over all the footage and working with an editor to start laying it out. And we've got a great music team working on it. So we're hoping it's going to come out uh, next spring. I feel like you could kind of look back and, and look at a career and you could see like some of the images we've made in the past and you know think they're cool or whatever but I'm, I'm always kind of thinking about what we can do better and what images we can make that are new and different and I think that there's a lot more images to be made and a lot more stories to tell and a lot more places to go and and that's what inspires me to, to want to keep going and keep shooting and to keep traveling. had no idea when I was shooting like mirrored cubes on top of black glass at school that I'd ever be able to do this and, and call, it, call it work I'd be doing but I'm having a lot of fun doing it.